Hey everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we are going to be using Figma to create this beautiful carousel together with the page indicator. And for this, we are going to be using components, variants, and smart animations. Let's get into it. Here in Figma, I have two pages. I have the page design where I have the rest of the wireframe ready. It's ready to receive my carousel component here. And here, the components page where I'll be creating all the components. So first, let's start with the shoe component. And for that, I will start with a frame. And the size of this frame is 301 and 360. And also, I want to change the border radius to 16. Once I have the frame, I will use my plugin of Unsplash to look for a cool image of a shoe. And I will look for Unsplash here. And here I can look for a shoe. And I want to use this image. Once I have this, I can create a component. And I will change the name to shoes. Now I want to create a variant. And I will change the, my, my variant name to active. And I will change the values to yes and no. And by changing this, this property will now be a switch. I will show you that later. So now I want to edit this variant. I will make it smaller. Now also add some effects. I will add some layer blur. And I will move my white layer on top of this and I will change the opacity to 20. And there you go. I also wanted to make this an auto layout. And um, yeah, that's my shoe component. Now I will create the page indicator component. And for that, I will actually use two components. One that is the dot. And then I will combine this component to create the three dots that you know as the page indicator. So to create the dot component, I will start with a frame. And the white, I want this to be 18, height 10, and border radius of 50 and I will change the color to dark gray. I want to make this a component. I just use the keyboard shortcut that is option command K and I will change the name to the dot. Now I want to create a variant and I will change the name of the property again to active and I will change the options to be yes and no again because I want it to be a switch. And now I will edit my active no variant and for that i want this to be a circle so i will change the y to 10 and i will change the color to light gray now i have my two variants of the dot and i will use that to create my page indicator so i use the keyboard shortcut again shift i i look for my new component i will put this under an auto layout and i will make sure my auto layout is horizontal I will center this and I will duplicate this twice. I will change the spacing to four. And now I will change this to active no, active no. And as you can see, we have the switch here only because I make the values to be yes and no. If those values were, for example, um, dot and rectangle, we wouldn't have this switch here. And I think the switch really looks better. So I will now make this a component. I will change the name to page indicator. And I need again, three or two variants of this one. So I'll add a new variant here and I will add one more. Now we'll change the name of this variant to page two. This will be page one and this will be page three. And now I will make this passive. I will make this active. I will make this passive and I will make this active. There you go. I have my three components and now I need to combine these components to create the carousel. Okay, now what I need to do is to look for an instance of my shoe component. So for that, I click Shift I and look for shoes. And I want to put this under an auto layout. For that, I click Shift A. And I want to remove this horizontal and vertical padding. So I 
change these to zero, this one to zero. And now I'll create two copies of my shoot component. Sorry, I create copies of the container. I select the shoes and command D two times and I have my copies and I want to adjust the spacing to 22. Now I want to make this active off and the same for this one. And I want these to be centered vertically. So, and now I want a new instance of my page indicator and I want to group this new page indicator with this container. So I select both and I click Shift A and I want to adjust the width of this new container to the width of my main shoe component. And I want to center this and for that I will change from hot con contents to fill container. And now I want to adjust the vertical spacing to 8. Now I can make a component from this new auto layout. So I will, I will, I will press Option Command K on the keyboard and I will change the name to Carousel. And now that I have my new component, I want to create for page 2 and page 3. And for that, I need two more variants. So I click here once and I click one more time. So I have two variants and I want to unclip the content so I can see the rest of my images. And for page number two, I will change this page indicator to page number two and this one to page number three. Instead of left alignment here, I want to change it to center. So I have the issue in the middle and I want to change this active off and make the center one active. And for this one, I want it to be on the right. So I change the alignment to the right and I want this to be off and I want to activate my right shoe. There you go. Now I have my three pages and I want to make the prototype animation. So for that, remember that you need to start the animation from the container that holds the three shoes, not the container that holds the page indicator and the shoes. So I select this container. And from that, I start animation to the other variant. And I want to change this to on drag and keep this to smart animate. The same for this one. I start with a container that holds the shoes and I go from, uh, from that to the other variant. Click on on drag, smart animate from here to page number three on drag. And then from this one to page number two. Again, on drag, smart animate. And now I'll go to the signs and I will see if it is working. So I look for an instance of my carousel. So I click Shift I and I look for carousel. Let's adjust the space in here. Looks good. And now let's check the prototype. So if I drag to the right, it's working. And my page indicator is also working. If I drag to the left, it's going back to page number one. Cool. So now let's change the images. So now what you need to do is very simple. Go at the bottom of this video and like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, because it really helps to the YouTube algorithm. It's also very simple to change the images. All I need to do is to select the frames I want to change. So I will select my shoes number two. So I select the three of them and then I go to right click, plugging on splash. And here I look for shoes. Once you're here, you can choose whichever shoes you want. I will select this one and it will automatically change my three frames. And now I will do the same for my shoe number three. So now when I go back to my designs and I click on the prototype, I should have my new shoes. So I'll scroll. I have my new shoes and I have these beautiful carousel made fully by components and variants. I hope this video was helpful and I will be creating another video for a more advanced carousel also using components and variants. So make sure to watch that one too. If you want to know more about Figma and Protopie, subscribe to my channel and see you on my next video.